Hey all you super players out there, Ben Lewis, aka 5 Buck Lunch, and I wanted to do a little video on something that came out today, uh, Carta, Magi Ma bleh. Carta Magica, the people that were in charge of organizing the uh, Vegas Dragon Ball Super event, uh, where they ran out of product by a pretty significant amount, a lot of people didn't get their entry packs, and I just kind of wanted to go through what they posted today on how you can get your packs, a lot of people are kind of up in arms about it. And I want to go through and kind of talk through it and look at things from different people's perspective. It definitely sucks for everybody involved. I'll start off with that. Basically, what they've said is that not only do they not have enough packs for everybody, so some people will not get entry packs, they have, uh, they can't afford to ship them to people, so they're asking the people who get their packs to pay for the shipping. A lot of people are really upset because, obviously, at the event, everyone was promised packs, and they've no, no one's ever really asked. I'm gonna increase the volume here a little bit. No one's ever really asked, like mentioned having to pay for shipping and anything for that. Uh, a lot of people are saying, "Oh, well, it was a free event. Like, why are you upset? I mean, you had to buy a fifty-dollar badge to go in. I don't really think that argument holds water. That's something." Also, people are saying, "Well." Uh, Carta Magica didn't get any money for it. That's not true. They get paid by the convention. Uh, they get a, basically a portion of the badge entries uh, from the convention for holding the event and the convention and attracting people. So uh, I'm going to start off with the player perspective because I think that's when something like this happens that really sucks, it's important to go through everybody's perspective and see exactly, like, how could we avoid this in the future? What could we have done better in order to have this not happen? And the first thing I want to talk about is the player perspective, which, obviously, it's kind of negative all around. I think that the fact that some people aren't getting packs is a bigger deal than the shipping. Shipping will probably be between 5 and $8 would be my, uh, I guess, even though we haven't uh, heard anything yet. I will want to point out the, the restrictions on the, or who they're giving packs to first. First is Top Cup finalists. Makes sense to me. Not only because of top the event, but because, I mean, if you top the event, you should get your prizes. Uh, the next one, though, makes me a little bit worried. It says players who completed the main event and team tournament without dropping. I don't really like that very much because, I mean, everyone drops from an event when they can't top it anymore. If they're talking about people who entered and dropped immediately and didn't even play like round one, okay, that's fine. I'm okay with them not getting their packs because they probably weren't even there to play. They were just there to get their stuff and get their money and leave. So that makes sense to me. But if you played five rounds and went uh, two, three, and you want to drop and go do something in Vegas or go do something at the convention, you should still get your packs as much as someone who went, you know, two and eight and played out the rest of the rounds. So I don't like that they're using that as a criteria. Now, all they said is players who completed. So like, I don't know. I just think that's a really bad criteria because of how card games tournaments work. You don't want that everyone staying in all the way because it slows the tournament way down and makes time procedures go a lot longer. So they, people shouldn't be punished for doing that. Um, players who pre-registered get priority, which that makes sense to me, I guess, because pre-registration, I mean, it helps turn go faster, you want to reward that, that's fine, and then all remaining players. So, we don't have the numbers on exactly how many people are going to be excluded, I hope it's not too much. There are rumblings in the comments, I don't know if this is true, that they weren't supposed to go over a cap of people, and that's why there aren't enough packs, because they just ignored that and had everyone enter. I don't know if that's true or not, uh, that's not confirmed, but... So for, for, for their perspective, um, so for the player perspective, it just sucks either way because you might not get your packs and you might have to pay shipping, which is unfortunate. Uh, now I'm going to go into Magikarta's, the organizers of the event. So this is possible, and they haven't, they haven't said anything yet, but I would like to point out that they are a company that organizes events for not only card games, but other events as well. And this unintended, obviously... There are not, they're not doing anything right now. Like, they are completely shut down, so they are not making any income. And there's probably about a 1,000 people that didn't get their product. And because of that, like, paying 5 to $8 on that, that's five to $8,000 that they could be using to, 
you know, pay employees or they probably just don't have the money right now because of the coronavirus. Like five to $8,000 is not an insignificant amount. So I can kind of understand them asking players to uh, pay for shipping. Does that suck? Yes. Should they do it? Maybe not, but I kind of understand why. Having a business that is essentially closed for multiple months here, and the real thing about that is, sure, like local game stores might be opening in the next couple months, but these guys will not have any business for six to eight months. Like you cannot run big events right now, so I kind of understand them saying we simply cannot afford uh, a five to eight thousand dollar drop on a return that we're not getting. Now, yes, that sucks. Yes, people should not have to pay for their product to be shipped to them, but. If it's that or nobody gets any product, it might we might just have to buy the bullet and pay the five to eight bucks to get it shipped to us. I keep in mind they are paying people to ship this to us and to sort out like to run all this stuff. Like that does cost money to hire people to do. So I think as unfortunate as it sounds, it is acceptable that people are paying shipping to get their product given the current situation with the coronavirus. I'm not super upset about it. It does suck. Don't get me wrong. And it's okay to be upset at that, but I don't think it's entirely Cardamagica's fault. Now, next perspective I want to go over is Teike, which is the organizer, which is one of my favorite organizers for tournaments too. And I honestly think that the biggest mistake they made, because they're probably one of the lesser at faults here, they kind of did the best they could. They took everyone's numbers, hoping that they would be able to ship them product. They shouldn't have promised everyone product if they didn't know. That's one thing I will say. And they um, they probably should have capped it. And I think this was a big communication issue between Bandai TK and Magic Carta. That, like, the fact that we had so few packs for how many players were there. Like, they had, a, they had packs for about 300 players on day one. And... We had about 600-something both days. So they had about a quarter of the packs. That's kind of unacceptable. Like, I could understand, like, having, like, two-thirds of the packs. Like, if they came with, like, 900, they'll be like, oh, we'll have two, you know, 500-person tournaments or whatever. Like, that's understandable. But the there was a real lack of foresight. And this is something that I always give to companies and card game organizers and stuff. Is I'll give you one for stuff like this. Because... 600 people for two days and two tournaments is kind of unprecedented. And they had a tournament restructure, if you remember beforehand, with uh, another big tournament, the Tournament of Power, and they shifted it and they changed what week it was on. So I can see that kind of getting mixed around a little bit and kind of causing this. But this is something that basically, as long as it never happens again, I I I'll give them a pass on this one. It sucks, don't get me wrong. But things like this do happen. Dragon Ball Super is a growing game. And mistakes are going to be made. This should never happen in the future, though, I will say. We've made our mistake. We need to understand that we need to give a ton of extra packs to these events and just have them get shipped back. I mean, will it cost 50 bucks to ship the extra packs? Sure. I think that's better than what the alternative we've shown here. Uh, but TAK does run a very good tournaments, and I want to say this is mostly not their fault. Uh, last one I want to go over is Bandai. I want to say that it is not Bandai's... Uh, responsibility that this happened, they probably gave a cap and said, all right, here's the amount of packs we're giving you. Don't enter that many more people. And uh, it was not followed. We also want to point out that Bandai Ship did provide extra packs. Apparently it was not enough extra packs, but it's not like they can print more extra packs right now because all the printing is shut down. I will say, Bandai, this is a message to you. This isn't your fault. But at the same time, you are a great game maker. You've done a lot of very good things for the community. If you were to step in here and say, all right, if you don't get your packs, it might take a year. You might not get these packs till January of next year, but we'll get you your packs eventually and just have them sent to an event. Say, all right, a year from now, nationals, whenever we have it, uh, if you did not get your packs here, you can come and collect them there. Uh, that would be a massive step for the community, and it's not something you have to do, but it's something that would garner a lot of goodwill towards the game and the company in general. So 
I'm calling you out. It's not your fault to fix this, but fixing it would help out the community a lot. So basically, in order to wrap it up, I just want to say, honestly, all three of these organizations share a little bit of blame, but we're in a situation now where mistakes were made. They're mistakes that should not be repeated in the future. And aside from the whole not giving packs to players who dropped out, I think that's a mistake. I don't think that should be done because a lot of the people that drop out are the most dedicated people, as weird as that sounds, because they're the players who uh, are more likely to have come just for the event and are like the players that go to a lot of events. Understand that once you're not able to top in the tournament, you should drop so the tournament runs smoother. You shouldn't punish those people. Um, but paying shipping for your to get the prizing, I'm actually okay with. It does suck. It's unfortunate, but I don't see another way, and I think it is reasonable. Uh, put all of your hate comments to me and how terrible I am and how much of a sellout I am in the comments below, because I'm sure I'll get some of them. And I want to point out that you do have a right to be upset about the situation, because it's a situation that shouldn't happen. But given all the current... Uh, Given current events, the virus, and the fact that CM is not making any money right now, uh, and will not be for months and months, uh, I understand that they're asking for us to pay for the shipping of the product. So yeah, if you have any comments, have any ideas, um, I will say, let's see, did they list the email here? I guess they didn't list the email. I just want to see what the contact is. Uh, it doesn't have a listing saying how they're going to contact people yet. So um, I will update this video in the comments below once I figure out how to actually comment them so people can get their packs. But uh, please like, subscribe. Any? Do you think I'm correct? Do you think I'm wrong and they should have to pay for shipping no matter what? Which is an understandable opinion. Uh, please put it in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, check out the Patreon. As always, go out there, play some super, and have some fun.